hello viewers and welcome to the channel in this video you'll see how to design this model and also how to create a porphyry in FreeCAD. i hope you like the video and if you can support the channel with a donation i really appreciate it to support the channel simply access the first link in the description of this video so let's go let's go to FreeCAD. press here create a new document and now switch to the part design workbench and now we'll create a new sketch Click on this icon to create a new sketch and select XY plane for this sketch. Double click here. Okay, and here. First zoom out. And now go to sketch geometries and select slot tool. And now click two times in this horizontal line here to create this slot in this way. And as you can see, now we have three degrees of freedom. First here, we'll set these two center points of these slots similar to this origin point. So we select symmetrical tool and then these two center points and this origin point. Okay. And now we'll set the size of the slot. So select constraint distance tool, click in this horizontal line, and here we'll set a length of 150 for this line here. Set 150 and also let's set a name for this for this dimension here. We'll set with. Okay, and now select this point here and this point, and we'll set a distance of 100. This dimension here, set 100 here, and also set a name. We'll set height. Okay, and leave the sketch, and now press home in your keyboard and. Let's make a extrusion of this sketch here. Select Pet Tool. Okay, and set Reverse it. And now we'll set the length of this operation here. We'll set 100, this dimension here. Set 100 and Enter. And now as you can see, we have this part here. And the next step to do now is to create this fillet here in this edge. So what you do now, now we select this circular edge here and we select filler tool. And now we'll change the radius here to this dimension here, 10 millimeters. Change here to 10 and click OK. And now we have this and now let's create this pocket here. To create this pocket here, what you'll do is to use the same sketch that we use it to create this part here let's go to the model tip and here click in this arrow of this pad operation and select this sketch here and now click in this icon to create a copy of this sketch enter and body here and space bar to make this sketch visible now what you'll do is to change is to change the height of this sketch here okay to create this pocket here so what you do now now we select this sketch here and we go to the properties of this sketch we go to sketch constraints and now here and it will change here to will change here to here we have for of 20 for this for this arc here so the dimension here will set 40 will set 40 here and enter and now select pocket tool okay and let's change the length here to 10 millimeters as you can see here change to 10 and now click ok and next here what you can do is to create this fillet here as you can see the wall of this fillet is five millimeters so what you do we select the circular edge and then fillet tool we change the range here to five millimeters and then okay and now we have this as you can see and now let's create this pocket here to create this pocket, we'll do the same process. What you do, we select this icon here, past icon, and then 
we drag the sketch into this body and spacebar to make the sketch visible. And now what we'll do is to change the attachment of the sketch here. We'll attach the sketch in the space here. So select the sketch, right click on mouse and select attachment to detour. Okay, and now clicking this plane button here and select the space. Okay, and now let's switch to the front view. Click on this icon, we we'll scroll down here and we'll change the value of the y direction. As you can see, here we have a rate of 100 for this part here, and we have this distance here between this center point to this line here 50. So, what you'll do here is to set minus 50 to the y direction and now scroll up and click OK. And next here we'll change the height of this sketch and also the width. So first we'll select the sketch here and then we'll go to the percentage of the sketch. Here we'll change to 80. We'll change here to 80 and here we'll set we'll set 40. This here we have this radius here 20, so you will be 40. Okay, and now we have this, and now we are able to create the pocket. So we'll select the sketch here and then the pocket tool. And as you can see, now we have this pocket. Now let's set the length of this pocket here. As you can see, we have five here, so we'll set five and okay. And next here. We'll create this fillet, okay? The value of this fillet is three. So what you do, we select this edge here and then fillet tool, and we change the radius to three and okay. Now we have this. And next here, what we'll do is to create this thickness here, 2.5 millimeters. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go to this model here. Okay, and now what you do, now we rotate this model and we select this bottom face here and then thickness tool. Okay, first here we'll check this option, make thickness inwards and now we'll set the value of the thickness here, 2.5. Change here to this dimension and then click OK. And as you can see, now we have this thickness here. Okay, and next here, what we'll do is to create these pockets here. Okay, so let's go to FreeCut. And to create these pockets here, what we'll do first is to change the workbench to part workbench. Okay, and here we'll create a cylinder. Click on this icon, and as you can see, we have the cylinder in these origin points here. Okay, and next we'll change the size of the cylinder. So here, scroll down and select cylinder. We'll change the radius here to, here we have a diameter of eight, so the radius will be four. We'll set four here, and the eight we, we can set 10 can set 10 for the height of this cylinder and next here what you'll do is to create a buffer array of this cylinder click on this pass icon click on this pass icon and make this sketch visible spacebar and as you can see we have this sketch here okay and the top face of this part here so now what you need to do is to change the height of this sketch here to this dimension 65. So what you do, we select this sketch here and then we go to sketch constraints and height. We change here to 65 and enter. Okay. And now to create the buffer array, what we do is to change the workbench to draft workbench. Click here and select draft workbench. Okay. And first here, let's hide this grid here. Click in this icon. Okay, and now to create the buffer array, what you need to do is to select this cylinder and then this sketch path. 
So what you do, we select the cylinder here in the two view and control select the sketch here. And now we go to these tools here, clean this icon and select perforate, click here. And as you can see, now we have four cylinders in the sketch here. So now what you'll do is to change the contour of these objects. Let's see, here we have 14. So what you do, we go here, in the objects, count, and we change here to 14 and enter. As you can see, now we have 14 cylinders here in this sketch. And the next thing to do now is to change the placement of the cylinders. We'll change the value of the Z duration to be able to create the, these pockets. To we'll sell it perforate. And now we go to base placement and position and now z duration let's change here to for example minus five millimeters okay okay and now we're able to create these these holes okay so now let's change the workbench to part workbench what you'll do here is to use a boolean operation to create the cut. So what we need to do now, first here select this body and then this perforate and select cut tool. Okay, as you can see here we have these holes. Okay, let's hide this sketch here. Select the sketch here and spacebar to hide and Next here, what we'll do is to create these parts here. Okay, so first here, what we'll do is to create a new body in which we'll draw these, these parts here. So let's do that. First here, we'll change the workbench to part design. Okay, and now we'll create a new body and a new sketch. Okay, but first here, we'll hide this model. Select cut here and hit space bar to hide this model and now create a new sketch press home for this sketch here we'll select axi plane okay okay and now what you do we select we go to sketch geometers and we select slot tool and let's draw this slot in this way and now select smart color constraint and let's add these two center points similar to this origin point okay and now we'll set the size of this slot here. So now select or same distance tool and click in this vertical line here. We'll set a length of 60. This dimension here. Set 60 here and enter. And now zoom out and select these two points here. And we'll set a length of 7. We'll set 7. Set 7 here and enter and now escape two times to leave the sketch and press home. And now we can see the sketch here. So let's create extrusion of the sketch. Select pet tool. Okay, and the link here will set as you can see here we have 5.5 and 2.5 here. So what we'll do here is to set 5.5 minus 2.5 and OK. OK. The value of this extrusion will be 3 millimeters. OK. And next, what we'll do is to create a fillet here in this edge. As you can see here, the value of this fillet is 2 millimeters. So we we'll select this edge here and then fillet tool change here to two millimeters and okay and now we have this okay and now let's make this cut visible space bar okay and here clicking this past icon and now select this sketch here and space bar and as you can see now we have this sketch here that you use it to create these first parts here Okay, so now what we'll do is to create a periphery of this part here. So first let's change the workbench to the draft workbench. Okay, and now just select this body and then this sketch here and 
clicking this icon perforate okay and as you can see now we have this perforate of this part here we have four parts here okay so now let's change count of these parts okay scroll down here and go to objects count and change here to fit it and enter as you can see here we don't have these parts here so what you do is to make some change in the sketch here double click in the sketch and select this line here we'll change this line here to a solution line click in this icon and as you can see the color of this line here change it close the sketch and now as you can see we have this okay and also we have a problem here okay first here what we'll do is to change the placement of these parts here so pull up this and what we'll do now is to select this pathway and now we go to placement and position here in this duration we'll change here to minus 50 the of 100 change here to minus 50 and we got this okay and now let's hide this sketch here select the sketch and spacebar okay and now let's solve this problem here okay what do we do now now we select this perforate and here in alignment we change here to true and now refresh this and as you can see we have this problem so we'll change the alien mode to tangent refresh okay and we still have the same problem so what you'll do is to force this is to force vertical we'll set true here set true and refresh okay and now it's okay now we have this okay and now let's change to the top view i want to show you a problem change to the top view as you can see here we have this problem we have this space here okay and now i want to show you how to solve this problem here so first press home in your keyboard and now go to the periphery click in this arrow and select click in this arrow of this body and what you'll do here is to change the length of this pad operation let's change here to four millimeters and enter okay and now what you do we go to the sketch here double click in this sketch okay and here we'll change this value we'll change this dimension here double click and change to 98 okay and now leave this sketch okay and switch to the top view again and now zoom in and now as you can see we don't have space here so it's all okay now press home and next year what to do is to make a fusion of these perforates and this part here okay so let's change to the part workbench okay and now what we'll do let's close this arrow here what we'll do now is to select this cut operation and this perforate and now select union tool click in this icon okay and now as you can see we have this fusion part here okay it's all for this model thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends i hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching